everybody, it's Leisha Let's Play, and today I'm going to be going over my eco living foray. My foray into eco living. This was kind of just me trying to figure out what eco living had to offer and, and seeing if there was any chance I'd want to buy it. And um, ultimately, some of you might just be looking for my verdict. For me, it's not really worth it. It does have a lot that it offers, but I'm just not somebody that's that concerned about being ecological. Like, I know that that makes me sound like a horrible person. I mean, we live in Japan, so we have to sort our trash. So we do recycle as well as we separate our burnable trash from our non-burnable trash. We recycle all of our cans and all of our glass, all of our aluminum, anything like that. But as far as like, I don't know, like I like I like reusing things too. As a kid, I was always one of those ones who would take my Barbies and, and put like juice box bathtubs and stuff, you know, try and try and reuse things. So I guess what I'm saying is just it's not a passion of mine. I'm not like a huge gardener. I don't raise bugs. I don't dumpster dive like a lot of things that this I'm not an activist either. So a lot of things that this pack had to offer weren't really a good fit for me. Now, for you, if you're really into um, green neighborhoods and restoring things, or on the other side, if you're into industrial neighborhoods, because it also offers that, this might be a really cool pack for you to I'm doing some different recycling and stuff like that throughout this pack, and you can turn it into other items. There's a point in there where... I actually make like a whole bookshelf and you can use fuel that turns it into energy and that aids all of your sims. So yeah, there's there's a lot to this pack if you're into like green stuff or if you're really an activist and you like to be really involved in your neighborhood and want to see that reflected in your sims world. This would also be a good chance for you to kind of see that because in this pack, there is a large chance for you to kind of become involved in this neighborhood. And uh, you can vote for things, some of which are a little bit silly. Yeah, everybody was wearing paper bags on their heads. That was something that the community voted for. I thought it was silly. At one point, I repealed it. But uh, overall, the aesthetics of the pack were something I really liked. If it weren't so much money, I would maybe get it just for the super cool recycled cardboard looking like beds and bookshelves and dollhouses and things of that nature because I really liked the way that those things looked. But as far as like cleaning up the neighborhood, I kind of just went to build by and deleted all the trash because I didn't like it. So I don't know if I really... <laughs> played it the right way, but I did try everything that was unique to this pack, and you'll see that uh, through my gameplay here. I tried the fabricator, some recycling, voting for different things in the community. I built the house using almost entirely things directly from this pack. There's candle making. I raised some beetles and made some bug juice. You can make um, fizzy drinks. Uh, there's a stand-up garden, so there's a lot of really great stuff that you'll find in this pack. Ultimately, it just it just wasn't for me. It just wasn't my ideal pack, which I kind of knew that it wasn't going to be. That's why I was so excited for this trial, because I knew that this was unlikely to be a pack that I would ever buy. It just isn't, it isn't me. It doesn't really fit how I play the game. As any of you who have watched my other videos or kind of seen my Let's Plays know, in general, I play The Sims mostly to build or to do completely crazy stuff, although I haven't posted any videos of that as of yet, as of this moment. But mostly, um, I play The Sims to kind of make families and explore stories that exist in my head, to play out some scenarios, try out some different jobs. Um, and build. I really like building. I like building with a specific idea in mind of the story behind the house and the family and then making a family that fits that. That's really my favorite. 
So when I made this person too, originally I was thinking that I was going to make a person and do something crazy. Like I said, that's part of my gameplay. So I made this like super hot, hunky guy thinking that I was going to have it be this dude who goes out and like has a bunch of girlfriends and just see what happens, you know, play with life. That's what The Sims is all about. But then the ego living trial was going on. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. And I made this adorable little family here. He marries a townie. They have a kid. I built the kid's room at one point and you'll see it when I build it. It's, it's quite nice. So I liked the voting mechanics a lot with eco living. Like if I were somebody who was really passionate about something, I think it was pretty cool. Basically the way that it works is voting is open for about a week. I believe it opens on Monday and closes on Friday. Maybe it opens on Friday and closes on Monday. I think it opens on Friday and closes on Monday. So you have a few days to familiarize yourself with what is available in the neighborhood and then to make some friends, gain some influence in the community so that you can try to get people to vote for what you're passionate about and then whatever wins the community space vote is what will affect what that space that you see me in a lot over in the community looks like. So a maker space is going to have a lot of crafting areas, a gardening space is going to have spots for them to garden, and then just a community space is going to be kind of a, a gathering place where anybody can go and it'll all just affect, it's all affected by the choices that you make. So towards the end of the video, you'll see me build the kids room and I'll show it to you. And this was like my favorite part of eco living, honestly. When you see this little baby's room, I liked the bed. I liked the toddler bed. I liked that it has the little mobile on it. I liked the bookshelf that he made. I liked the dresser. I liked all of it. Honestly, I liked all of it. Like I said, the stuff in this pack really spoke to me. Maybe just because I'm into like old and reclaimed stuff, I think it's cool. Even though I don't have really any old or reclaimed stuff around the house. I mean, I just think it's fun to be able to take something that has existed for a while and turn it into something new. And also, maybe it's just, I really like that little house design. I'll probably build that on my kids' bunk beds someday or something. Because I just dig it. The idea of them having their own little house, I think is really cool. I think as a kid, I would have liked that. There was one point where I dreamed about living in a tent and I wanted to have flowery carpet like they had in The Sims 2. I wanted that carpet that looked like flowers on grass. And then I wanted the sky on my ceiling and a scene on my walls that would be like maybe a forest or I don't know, something. And then I was gonna have a tent on the ground with a mattress in it, and that would be my bed. And I thought that this was going to be this fantastic idea. I think maybe I've mentioned this in another video that never came to fruition when I was younger. I think I was like 12 or so, but I ended up with my cloud room and my cloud sheets, and that was really cool. And I ended up sleeping in a tent when I was 19, and it was not very cool. And then I learned my lesson that it actually was not that fun to sleep in a tent on the ground full time. It's not that comfortable. Especially if you don't have like a great back. <laughs> it was not very comfortable, but it was it was it was a good experience to have if only just for the sake of of having that experience. There's a new job that comes with this pack. I think it was like civil engineer or something. I don't totally remember, but uh, during that job which is the comes with the aspiration that comes with this pack during that job your sim will basically make the neighborhood a better place like make it a greener place with that job you can work from home um it's also a job where you can send your sims out into the world it's totally up to each individual person each individual player how they want to play it and you can put solar panels on your roof, which lowers your bills, which I thought was really cool. I try to make a really cute little design on the roof out of solar panels, but there's multiple colors. There's red, purple, green, and blue, and there's like a dark blue and a light blue. And I thought that was pretty cool because you can kind of match it to your roof and your aesthetic and, and all that fun stuff. And I thought that was pretty awesome. 
so as far as the gameplay goes, I recorded a, mo a point where I had him try out using some of the insect byproduct in order to make a fizzy drink, and I just wanted to see if something crazy would happen, but nothing crazy happened. It was quite boring. Um, I forgot to record him getting married, but a guy called and said his inheritance depended on him getting married, so I had him marry the first county that he really had any relationship with because I wasn't that concerned. I came into this trial really late. I only had it for a few hours, and then it was set to end, so I just kind of played with life for a little bit. Um, and then I recorded some of the toddler with the nanny. The nanny did not take care of the toddler, and I thought it was extremely funny that they're paying this woman and she took care of zero of his needs and he was just very angry uh, but that's pretty much it so overall impressions of this pack again it's not for me i really liked the aesthetic i liked that everything looked reclaimed and reused i really dug that i liked that um you could be part of your neighborhood even though for me that's not part of how i play the game I thought it was nice that that was an option for people who might want that as an option. I didn't see a major difference in how I engaged in the gameplay, but again, like I said, with how I play, I'm more of a builder and a let's play with life with these stories that I invent kind of person than I am a regular player. So I feel like if green is your passion and recycling and making your neighborhood a better place is your passion and you'd like to see that reflected in a Sims game, give this a go. Eco living is for you. And if you're not really into that kind of thing like me, then it might not be worth the money, but it's ultimately up to you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave a like, subscribe, comment below. See you, love you, bye.